Hey guys, welcome to Zack Attack Reviews, and thank you for joining me for my reaction to the final trailer for The Flash. Every single trailer that they've dropped for this movie has gotten me more and more hype for this film. Despite all the controversy with Ezra Miller and everything that's going on, I'm really, really excited for a very comic booky film to come out and for DC to get a win because I'm super excited for DC to start getting some wins because I, I love their universe and I would love for people to enjoy it in the big screen. So let's see what they got for the final trailer. Hopefully not too much footage. I still want to be surprised in the film. No spoiler guys in the comments. Let's uh, go. I love you. Thank you. Crashing you into Mr. Wayne. Oh, no, please don't. He's in this? I need you here now, Barry. Whoa. I like that. So you're saying you could travel back in time? Ooh. But Bruce, I can fix things. I can save people. I can save my mom. Mm. I can save your parents. Ooh. That's very enticing. I like destroy. that. Everything. Mm. Love you, Bob. I love you too. Aww. So That's gonna break my heart. Week? How's school? School was good. Oh, shit. This is mad trippy. Dude, this is catastrophic. Are they trying to make Esmilla look like a young person? This world must die. No! I'm not gonna lose there again. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I will help you. Interesting group. Let's melt. Wait, he's Batman? You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. <laughs> This just looks so fun. Mm. We're in uncharted territory. Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. I like the little bit of Sasha Kale that we're getting. She looks like she's gonna be a lot of fun. Just a little bit from what we're seeing. You have fancy friends. Oh, shoot, Iris. No, it's an Uber. Oh, ha. exec. <laughs> oh, what's funny about this is that to me, this is the most Marvel-y trailer that I've seen DC have since like the Justice League Josh Whedon trailers. Um, just not even just from the tone and with the music in the background and the fun and the jokes, but just the the VFX. One thing I'll say with uh, DC, despite what you feel about the storylines and the character choices or the actors acting or whatever, I feel like the VFX for DC movies have been better than the VFX for Marvel movies for the most part. Just overall, when you go movie for movie. So, like me, who I think fondly over Man of Steel, I love that movie. I know a lot of people don't, but I personally think it's amazing. I think the VFX in that film are so strong and so great. And when I compare that, which is like 10, maybe almost, long, I think it came out 2013, so it might be 10 years now that that film came out. And I compare it to this, and this one looks a little bit more rubbery. And I didn't see that in the first two trailers, but I really noticed it here. Because it was more VFX shots, I feel, in this one, like, getting focus. Especially when you see Zod fight Supergirl, Superwoman, not sure which one they're going to call her. You can see it look a little bit more rubbery, like it's not the people there all the time. When, I, when it was Zod versus Clark in Man of Steel, it felt like they were fighting each other. Felt more... Obviously, you know, it was, it was some of it was fake, but it felt like they were fighting each other for most of the fight. So, that's one thing I got to say, that hopefully... This looks better in the movie, in motion, on the big screen than it does in this trailer. Just because it's very, very possible that it's being compressed down in the trailer, can be compressed down on YouTube, and that's why it has that rubbery feel to it. Um, but I just hope that it looks amazing because I really thought the, the first trailer looked really, really good. But other than that, 
this was fun. I like that we got a little bit more of the story, just a bit. Um, him appealing to Bruce because you know Bruce is like, do not time travel. <laughs> um, telling him like, hey, I can even save your parents, and that smile he gives like, I respect that you even thought about doing that for me, but. No, like he's like, you're going to mess something up. There's a reason why things happen in time and he does it anyway. And we're going to see the results. And I expect there's some, some surprises and some funds. I know certain things got leaked out there and hopefully I can avoid them before the movie comes out because we still got a couple weeks. But this looks really good. I think this is the weakest of the three trailers, but it's still a really good trailer because it gave us a little bit more of the story. The why's doing it. We got to see his parents, which was cool. We got to see the alternate Barry. Um, in his suit, that looks like he took a Batman suit and made it into a, a Flash suit. Uh, like I said, I thought that the Sasha Kale looks really good as Kara, and um, she looked. Uh, I'm hearing from people that she's going to be a standout, and just little things that they were doing here and there that made me feel like she is going to be a standout. She does look like she could be Henry Cavill's cousin, which which I think was really important for that continuity, even though they're not bringing him back. So yeah. Uh, this is the going to be the end of the Snyderverse, leading into the new Gunverse, and uh, I'm really excited. I'm a big fan of the Snyderverse, so I'm glad that they're playing on and tribute in putting tribute to what started with Man of Steel. So yeah, that's all I got to say. I think this looks like a lot of fun. It was cool to see Kiersey Clemens towards the end. Uh, hopefully, you know we get that love interest thing going on, and uh, yeah. Guys, let me know what you guys think about the Flash trailer. Uh, are you ex super excited? Are you less excited? Are you not excited at all? Drop all those comments down below. Please do not post any spoilers or anything that any of the leaks or anything like that in the comments. Please. I, I don't want to spoil for me. I will delete them as soon as I see them. Um, yeah. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you can notify my reviews, reactions, live discussions, and much, much more. And you can catch more of my content right now.